Biden's Alba, sometimes referred to as beggar ticks, and often short to just Biden's, this small white flower is relatively unassuming. Taking a look around your local neighborhood, you might notice these flowers around the edges of manicured lawns and colorful flower beds. You might think, oh, they're just weeds that the owners haven't gotten around to pulling yet, and go about your day. It's not an uncommon assumption to make, because most people have no idea where some of these weeds really come from. Biden's Alba is a native Floridian wildflower. It's not a weed. In fact, it's more suited to your yard than most typical garden variety plants. Native wildflowers are often overlooked or outright uprooted in favor of ornamental or seasonal flowers. It's not hard to imagine why. They're far from the showiest options available to gardeners. As a result, many of them are almost completely overlooked. So why should we care about native flowers? On a surface level, they're hardy. Native plants have grown in Florida for thousands of years, meaning they're perfectly adapted to the Floridian climate. Yes, even the cold snaps and torrential rains. Think about it. A sudden freeze might destroy a bed of petunias, but the Biden's Alba? Go outside on a cold day and you're guaranteed to see it growing just fine. That hardiness is crucial for all Florida wildlife, native or not. Here in Florida, because of our tropical climate, there's a lot of invasive plants that do well here that really do better for animals and wildlife in other parts of the world. Um, for instance, Brazilian pepper comes in and it grows so well here year round that it actually displaces a lot of native plants. And people say, why? It's pretty, you know, I, I love that plant. Why can't I grow it? And the reason is actually for wildlife and for humans. Um, wildlife and the plants that sustain them have evolved over thousands of years. Uh, for instance, uh, oak tree uh, is host to thousands of different insects, including caterpillars. And even just raising one nest of birds, like a chickadee, one nest requires over 6,000 insects just to raise one nest. And so if you have native plants like trees and bushes that sustain native insect populations, then it helps birds. And then if you have a healthy population of birds, things that eat birds, like native snakes and whatnot, uh, are able to thrive. It's easy to assume that unfamiliar plants growing in your bed of ornamentals are weeds. Some of them might be. Invasive, self-seeding plants, such as tasso flowers, although pretty, can be safely pulled without uprooting any native habitats. It's also understandable that plants like the Biden Zaba aren't a gardener's first choice for household plants. They're native, yes, but far from impressive. They're leafy with small flowers that don't make for a very colorful yard. There are other options, however, ones that manage to balance being an important part of the ecosystem and a colorful garden accessory. Although seemingly unconventional, the prickly pear cactus is actually a fantastic choice for your garden. As succulents, they require very little upkeep and can be easily transplanted to other areas by simply breaking off a pad and burying it in the soil. Making them both easy to obtain and easy to share. They flower in the spring and both the fruits and the pads they produce are edible for humans and animals. Their sturdy bodies also provide safe housing for birds and snakes alike. If left to its own devices, these gorgeous giants can get up to 15 feet tall and don't need to be supported by trellises. Firebush is both fast growing and evergreen, so you'll have it around all year long. It produces both berries and tubular red flowers, but it's a shrub, so it provides much more ground coverage. Birds love nesting in its branches, and who can blame them? The firebush is sturdy, but leafy, and provides excellent interior coverage. And having berries growing right alongside their nest means the parents don't have to go too far to find food for their chicks. And so there's this balance in the ecosystem between native plants, um, the animals that rely on it, and, um, and also just for the enjoyment of the world. If, if we mess up the ecosystem too much, then we're not going to have birds and things like that.